Hey everybody, it's Son, and welcome back to Send Newts. The Southeast is the reptile hotspot of the US, and with that, it's also the native home of one of the oldest and largest reptiles in the world, the American alligator. Appearing over 30 million years ago during the Oligocene Epoch, these members of the crocodilian order are often regarded as living fossils due to their very minor physical changes from their fossil counterparts. Present in the subtropical southeastern states, there can often be hundreds in a given wetland or swamp. I mean, just look at all of them. I live close to Charleston, South Carolina, and we have freshwater everywhere, and therefore we have gators everywhere. And that's just the ones you can see. More under the surface. Plotting, waiting, lurking. Alligators are ambush predators and wait in water for prey to walk by before using a burst of speed to capture them and bring them in to drown. They'll eat whatever they can overpower in and near the water. But don't worry, they aren't recorded to chase anything on land. They can grow up to 14 feet in length, with some reported to reach 19, but the length may not always be visible from the water's surface. A quick little rule of thumb is that the inches between a gator's eyes and nostrils convert to its body length in feet, so you can eyeball it or enter the water to measure. Personally, I like to eyeball, that's just me. Gators also have an extremely powerful bite force, reaching over 2100 psi, which this individual displays here. You see the camera shake? Because that legitimately scared me. I was just sending a selfie to my mom, then I turned around, the gator sizing me up, my heart sank to my booty! To put into perspective how strong that bite is, the average human only generates 160 psi from their strongest bite. That's over 13 times more, and when you add that with the gator's 80 sharp teeth, that's a dangerous combo. These teeth also constantly are replaced after falling out. Gators have like the ultimate loadout to end every other animal's life. Now let's just watch the footage of this gorgeous animal a little bit more. I was so lucky to even come across an individual that was this active. And alligators aren't just cool to look at, they're critical to the natural operations of their ecosystems. They create what are called gator holes, which are depressions in the land that they excavate to stay cool, attract prey, and mate. These holes will stay filled during the warmer, drier months, allowing smaller organisms to thrive in them as well. This digging up of mud and plants is also how they create nesting around their eggs, like the nest seen here, but the mother always in close proximity. A cool thing about alligators is that the temperature determines their hatchling sex. Eggs hatched above 93 degrees Fahrenheit, or 34 Celsius, are male, and eggs hatched below 86 degrees Fahrenheit, or 30 Celsius, are female. This nest will probably produce males, as it's on the levee and not directly in the marsh, leading to warmer nests. Okay, mama's getting closer. She's getting mad. It's time to leave her and the eggies alone. Regardless of how many alligators I see, I don't think I'll ever get bored of them. It's so surreal to see something so large and scaly beside a body of water like that. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed getting the footage for you. Leave a like at the bottom if you did. Subscribe for more send news in the future. And thanks for watching. Look at it. Look, even a gator showed up to watch me record the ending just now. <laughs>